next guest represents the heart of Silicon Valley and is calling for more bank regulation in response to SVB's collapse. I want to welcome Congressman uh, Ro Khanna from California. Nice to see you, sir, at the table, no less. Good to see you in person. Okay, so we've been talking all week about SVB and what needs to happen next. But before we even get to the regulatory side, because there's a lot of finger pointing at the regulators and at the supervisors, uh, at the, the managements of these companies, I'm curious sort of where you think this lands, because I've taken the position, and you can disagree with me, that at some level this entire episode was this remarkably unforced error. There were mistakes made by the management, and I have no sympathy for that. But at the same time, this was like a little, uh, uh, you know, a, I don't even want to call it a fire. There was a little bit of smoke in the room, and which probably could have been doused with some water. But, uh, you know, people screamed fire in the theater, uh, and everybody ran for the exits. I, look, I put most of the blame on the bank management. I mean, they didn't hedge those long-term bonds. They didn't have the financial sophistication, frankly, that a lot of banks in uh, New York have. Uh, and they were vulnerable to very large deposit holders. I mean, look, Bank of America, for example, has millions of accounts, and many of them under 250,000. This right. had maybe 20, 30 accounts, large accounts of a few VCs say we're concerned it's susceptible to a bank run, and that was irresponsible. What do you think about the venture capitalists and the Silicon Valley community, though, that oftentimes is talking, all, you know, very frequently about personal responsibility, and then all of a sudden switches gears when they need help? Well, that's uh, not a consistent. I mean, and that's why I think that depositors need to be protected. I was joking with someone. I said maybe now that they are advocating for a guarantee of depositors, the next step will be a guarantee for health insurance and we'll t turn them into advocates for Medicare for all. But I think this shows that the libertarian philosophy uh, does not work, that there are times that you need government involvement. Right. But at the same time, the question is, if we do guarantee all of these deposits, what it actually does for, it's the same question we've been asking all morning, what it does for moral hazard, what it right. does for the type of risk taking that may therefore come as a result of these guarantees. Is that the unexpected uh, or, or unresolved issue on the other side of this? Here's why I think we needed to guarantee the depositors. Uh, if you didn't, you'd have four banks in this country. Everyone would be pulling their money out of uh, the regional banks and putting it in Bank of America, Citibank, J.P. Morgan, Wells Fargo, which, by the way, are more or less guaranteed. People think that we would uh, right. actually support them. Uh, the, the, we have about $10 trillion in this country that uh, is under FDIC. We have about $8 trillion that is not. Mm -hmm. And the question is, how do you raise bank premiums in a way to fund that $8 trillion and not have that fee fall on the ordinary deposit account holders, but have a fee on larger accounts? And I think that's something we need to work towards and reform. Right, but even if there's a bigger fee, there's still this idea that once you have the gear, so you could charge people a little bit more to keep their money in the bank. They might not. They might just go to other more risky uh, parts of the financial system that, by the way, blew up in 2008, money market funds and the like. But even if you charge them that fee, if you guarantee it, you don't solve the issue of how banks are going to run their companies, right? How they're going to reach for profit. Even in this case, they could have bought bills instead of longer dated bonds, but they would have made no money. So I don't know how you change that, that mismatch, that incentive. You're absolutely right. And this is why I think the regional banks need more regulation. I mean, look, SVB lobbied not to have stress tests, not to have liquidity tests. Uh, in exchange for having more of a guarantee on the deposit, they need to be open to more regulation to have basic stress tests and liquidity tests. But here's what I, the moral hazard argument. I mean, let me guarantee you, there's no one at SVB in the executives who are thinking, great, my life's great, I got away with this. I mean, they're going to face a DOG invest, DOJ investigation, an SEC investigation. Rightfully, their careers are ruined. Uh, I think most regional banks are not going to go bankrupt.